Hello everyone, I'm Raisa and today I would like to talk about uh, my statement regarding the use of social media platform called Instagram and its roles on teenagers. As we all know that there are billions of people outside there who use social media for various purposes. Um, it could be to interact, to gain information, or to run online businesses and so on. So there are many functions of social media. And one of the most famous social media platform these days is probably Instagram. So I, I'm quite pretty sure that all of you guys might heard about this or or even you know use these applications but um, if you guys still haven't figured it out yet like what exactly Instagram is I'm going to tell you very briefly. So Instagram is a social media app that allows you to share your daily images or photos to others. Ever since it made from 2010 until now it has increasingly become one of the most popular platforms. So the main role from this app is actually you can easily share with your friends about your daily lives in photos or videos. And also teenagers are able teenagers are able to find new friends or um, community from people who have the same interests as them. Based on analysis from Omnicoragency.com, 72% Instagram users are mostly come from teens. According to Facebook for Business, they say 56% of Instagrammers in our study said that the platform makes them feel more connected to the people they know and 52% agreed that it gives them a sense of community which can be important for those on the path self on the paths of self-discovery. Moreover, people from many generations who use Instagram can also gain a lot of interesting uh, information and educative knowledge in academic or non-academic. One of the recent studies by Ali Erlson from Online Journal of Educational Technology who's focusing on to do a research about Instagram effects on language learning purposes stated that it is believed that Instagram can be used as an effective tool for educational purposes. Researchers have reported that Instagram encourages young generation to improve their communicative skills along with their reading and writing skills by practicing with their peers or people copy. The survey also find out that the learners are found less stressed and less pressured when they do the tasks through Instagram because they could contribute themselves um, on pouring their thoughts and opinions in discussions without having a fear with making mistakes. However, we have to realize that using Instagram can also be a bad thing for ourselves. Teenagers tend to have insecurity and anxiety when it comes to their own selves. Um, they like to compare themselves, especially for the physical appearance. Um, they think that the others are more attractive than them so that they feel not good enough with their own bodies which can lead them to have insecurities. According to a survey, Instagram users are dominated by women rather than men. 51% of women tend to spend their time on Instagram which can cause a negative consequence to them. Therefore, as an Instagram user, we have to be more clever on using Instagram. It all can be defended by selective on choosing and following the account. Your personal algorithm of Instagram is actually depends on what you often see and as what Instagram explains on its sites that the posts you see oftenly are selected ultimately based on the posts that you follow or the posts that you like. Now we reserve from course every site that I begin by unfollowing people who might have been contributing to the body image problem. Why was I following so many Victoria's Secrets models and women whose only job seemed to be working out? So you are responsible on deciding what Instagram is going to show you. If we use it well and properly, I will believe that uh, there are many benefits that you can get from using Instagram. That's it from my speech. I hope you guys like it. Thank you.